Welcome to D Beaver's YouTube channel. We continue our series of educational videos on SQL scripting for beginners. If you want to learn the basics about matching values and inner joins, we recommend you start with the previous video on this topic. You can find a link to it in the description and in the pop up notification on the right hand side of the screen. Today we're going to cover two more types of joins left join and right join. When do we need them? Imagine that you have two database tables and you want to get a result set containing all records from the first table and matching values from the second one. For example, it might be a table with artists and a table with their albums. To create a result set consisting of all the artists' names from the first table and all the corresponding albums from the second table, you need to use left join keywords. The structure of your select query will be the same as for inner join. You need to start from the select word and list the columns you need from both tables, or just use the asterisk sign to show all the columns. Then write the word from and enter the name of the first table. After that, add the left join clause and the name of the second table. The last step is to write the keyword on and the column names with matching values through an equal sign. Please note that in SQL scripting terminology, the first table we're talking about is called the left table, and the second table is called the right table. This is why we use left join and right join keywords. What if you need to get a result set containing all records from the second table and matching values from the first one? All you have to do is replace the left join with the right join. Now we have learned the query construction and we can try using it on a real example. We assume you've already installed the dBeaver community app and created an SQLite database. If you need to learn how to download and install the application, follow the link in the description or click on the tooltip on the right hand side of the screen. Let's look at how left and right joins work using the tables from this database. We'll create a result set containing the full list of the names from the artist table and the corresponding albums from the album table. But first, we'll try to use the inner join for these tables and look at what happens. Select artist.name album.title from artist join album on artist.artistid equal sign album.artistid as you can see, we have 347 rows in our result set, and it consists of artists that actually have corresponding albums based on the artist ID. But, what if we also want to see artists who don't have any albums? This is where left join comes in handy. Let's change our query by adding the keyword left. Select artist.name, comma, album.title from artist. Left join album on artist.artistid equal sign album.artistid as a result of running this query we got 418 rows in our result set for those artists who don't have a single album null is displayed in the title field if you want to learn more about null values we suggest you watch our whole video dedicated to this topic now we can compare our result set with the original artist table Let's write a simple SELECT query right after our query with joins. SELECT asterisk from ARTIST You may notice that the number of rows in the ARTIST table is less than in our result set. Why did it happen? The fact is that there can be several albums for one artist, in which case the artist's name is repeated in the list. Now, let's see how the right join works with the same tables. To do so, we need to execute the following query. Select artist.name, comma, album.title from artist, right join, album, on artist.artistid equals sign album.artistid. In our tables, each album has an artist and there can only be one. Therefore, the number of rows in the result set coincides with the number of rows in the table album. We can verify this by running the following select query. Select asterisk from album. Since we're working with two tables, in our specific case, we can use the left join and right join interchangeably. 
Let's go back to the previous query and swap the first and second tables. Select artist.name, comma, album.title. From album. Right join artist. On artist.artistid equals sign album.artistid. When performing such a query, we'll get exactly the same result as in the case of using the left join. The only difference in the result sets is the sorting order, since in the second case, artists with no albums are displayed at the end of the list. However, we already know how order by keywords work, so we can add an alphabetical sorting to our query if we want. Select artist.name, comma, album.title. From album. Right join artist. On artist.artistid equals sign album.artistid. Order by artist.name. Please keep in mind that if you want to get a result set based on three or more tables, the left join and right join cannot be used interchangeably. In this case, you need to carefully choose the appropriate one. In our upcoming videos in this series, we're going to show you how to work with full join and self join. Feel free to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.